we had the radio, so we were using the radio as a tool. Um, that was just blaring in the background. So we all could hear what was happening on the radio, you know, the radio being the AM radio. Fair to say, we could all see it coming from dwelling up, not knowing that it would necessarily get to us. And myself and my neighbour were sort of watching, watching. We actually had great big leaves landing here from bush, from uh, banshee trees and different other things. We realised we were going to have trouble here and the way the winds were so fickled here and that period we were getting a lot of easterly so I thought well dwelling up's only X amount of kilometres from here and that doesn't take long for a fire to get here so we started getting ready. We didn't wait for any kind of warning. I know a lot of people said that they didn't get a warning on their phone. We didn't wait for any kind of warning. We knew to be prepared and, and not wait for anyone to tell us to leave, to, to rely on our instincts and go. I was speaking to our neighbour down the road here and um, when we seen embers coming from dwelling up down here, dropping around us, um, he's been out here all his life and he's in his 70s and he said to us, this doesn't look good, you better you know, think about um, putting things, some things together and um, so that's what we did. We, we, I come home here and, we, and my wife and myself packed some bags and got some things together. I kept going outside um, to constantly look in the hills, uh, etc. And when the water was off at four o'clock, I knew we were in serious trouble. I received my text message when I was in Australind. Um, in the evacuation centre um, 24 hours after the fact. My wife was on the web with her phone and I was listening to the radio all day. And there were consistent, constant messages. You can't always get the full picture of, of what's happening from, from those uh, broadcasts, uh, whether it be on the internet or the radio. You may not have the full picture. If there is a fire, even if it's 20 kilometres away, start thinking about what you're going to do. During a bushfire, alert levels are used to give you an indication of the level of threat from a fire. There are four levels. Advice, watch and act, emergency warning alert, and all clear. Emergency services will provide you as much information as possible and the latest updates and advice can be found on the Emergency WA website. Stay alert to what is happening around you. Act immediately to stay safe. Don't wait and see.